I think uh, the way the, the technology is today changing, the learning uh, paradigms, I'm sure that the management education would also uh, change, especially from the point of view of the delivery part of it. Consider, for example, a couple of courses that may not necessarily be taught in the classroom anymore, the way they are being taught. Uh, and, uh, and for that matter, the faculty would possibly use that time to draw some higher level concepts or for that matter develop some of those skills that uh, the faculty may want to develop keeping in mind the recruiter requirements. For example, a subject like economics, we teach macroeconomics or microeconomics or a business environment or even a course on basic marketing itself. Possibly some of these kinds of courses can really move on in what we call it as a digital format. In an, in an open line, uh, online kind of a mode itself. And once that happens, the student would be encouraged to really go on to those kind of courses, register there, so that the faculty knows who has registered and who has not registered. And then, not only studies there, not only study the co courses, but also goes through the kind of assessment that the faculty may want to do. This kind of a process would not just merely be one, one to one or let's say from a faculty to the student body, but this could even be, let's say, among the student community itself that they can learn. And therefore, from this kind of a perspective, what would happen? Here you would have a 24 by 7 kind of a learning process, wherein it's a faculty and the group of students who are learning from each other. The, the time that the faculty would have now in the class would be more to really take these students now towards something else. For example, in marketing, the faculty may spend time in terms of really talking about the decision-making skills and develop the decision-making skills rather than focusing on concepts or let's say some of the tools there. Right. Uh, so it is those kinds of changes that I'm expecting. The NMIMS is already a national brand. As a brand, we are already a national brand in higher education. A purpose of setting up campuses in different parts of the country is really to reach out to the markets, which till now are not able to, uh, which we are not able to access today, for multiple reasons. It could be because of the geographical, geography being, being one of the reasons. It could even be the affordability. It could even be that some of the prejudices of the parents who may not want the children to come to all the way over to Mumbai to study. Right. So it is from that kind of a perspective we are wanting to reach out to various uh, destinations itself so that we are able to get that market. The other part of it is we, are, we also realize today in the country that there is a very big scope for quality education, particularly in not just mainly in management, but in technical education per se, including engineering or let's say pharmacy, where the university is currently in, technology and sciences also. So we want to really be there at that point of time. We definitely want to deliver good quality education in this country. Uh, just as the government of India has wanted to set up central universities and the IAMs, etc., I think it is imperative that leading players in private sector who are recognized as quality players must also expand so that there is a wider access. If we want GER in higher education to go up from 20% to 50% in the next, let's say, 10 year kind of a period. So that kind of a physical expansion and also integrating technology in a big way should really help us to do that. Another reason why we are going national uh, is because we realize that many state governments also want uh, quality advice. They want quality players to help them achieve their socio-economic objectives. Right. Now for that purposes, there's a whole lot of things that are required to be done, be it in terms of the studies, impact studies, or it is in terms of doing and some anal analysis itself of, of the data, or it is even in terms of uh, evolving plans for various kinds of sectors. We want to play that kind of a role of assisting the state governments 
in achieving the socioeconomic